Uh, Chairwoman, thank you very much. Uh, I'd like to speak on Moran Amendment Number 1, which I filed, but will, I will not be requesting a vote. The COVID-19 pandemic taught us that the, the dangers of being caught unprepared and flat-footed in response to a sudden public health emergency. The strategic national stockpile is one of our most valuable assets when it comes to responding in a timely fashion to those crises. Since the next public health threat will probably not look like the current one, we ought to be preparing for any number of threats. The vaccines kept in the stockpile are a central factor to achieving that goal. However, the max capacity of the vaccines kept in the SNS is not being met. My amendment would require the SNS to fully stockpile vaccines to max capacity within two years after enactment of the Prevent Pandemics Act. The goal to fully stockpile all vaccines will be achieved through collaboration between the Assistant Secretary for Preparedness and Response and Congress. My amendment would require the, the Assistant Secretary to notify relevant congressional committees if the current fiscal year funding does not allow the stockpile of vaccines to reach that maximum capacity. I'm withdrawing, I will withdraw my amendment because uh, of concerns about fiscal uh, consequences to this bill. But as a uh, Labor H appropriator uh, and a member of this committee, I look forward to finding a, a, a suitable solution to making sure we have the necessary vaccines in stock uh, for those times of emergency. And I would ask the chair and the ranking member to work with me to accomplish that goal. Thank you, Senator Moran, and I, I would I appreciate the withdrawal at this time. Obviously, resources is critical to this, but. We, I, I agree with you that the strategic national stockpile needs to fully uh, stock the appropriate vaccines. Look forward to continuing to work with you on that. Senator Burr. Madam Chairman, I, I commit to work with Senator Moran, but let me just point out for my colleagues, here is another reason that without the data that is available from all the components within government that are addressing pandemic, it is impossible for, for, for us to know um, what the specific needs are going to be if they don't share with us uh, the information about the data, about how much we've gone through of vaccines, therapeutics, testing. Um, and up till now, that has been denied of this committee. Uh, so very valid thing that I think the chairman and I are willing to tackle with Senator Moran together, but it will require additional granular details, uh, not just of this administration, but of every administration in the future for us to know. I uh, took full advantage to give the ranking member an opportunity to highlight one more time today the point he likes to make. Uh, and Madam Chair, uh, based upon those assurances, I withdraw the amendment. Look forward to working with you and others on this committee and the appropriations uh, process as well. Thank you. Thank you.